Okay, now that we've got um, virtual host and Apache web server working with WAMP server and Windows, I wanted to come back here to uh, VirtualBox, Fedora, and make it work here too. So let's talk about some of the issues involved here. Okay, first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my um, server settings, my HTTP tool here, which is my GUI tool for Apache. And I want to show you some of the settings that I've changed here. These are important settings and you want to... First of all, I removed the address, the 127.0.0.1 address here that was listening on port 8088. We're not going to need it. Okay, so there's that. And let me move this up here. And then under virtual hosts, I've changed my virtual host quite a bit here to match what was going on with the other... Um, which, with what I've learned in the process. And one thing, I've changed virtual host name one here to test one, and uh, the root directory uh, forward slash var forward slash www forward slash html forward slash test one. I got rid of the last forward slash, didn't need it. I changed the host information here from um, default virtual host to name based virtual host. We're going to be listening by name here. And then IP address, I put star, which is every IP address colon 80 on port 80 host name test1.local and then alias name down here you can add this is where you put your www.test1.local right here okay and that's how you want to set this up now let me see if I can move this up and click OK and then the same thing with uh, test2 I did the same thing it's uh, test2 is the name now and it's listening uh, IP address it's um, also uh, named based virtual host um, star colon 80 test2.local alias www.test2.local okay now that I've got that squared away I just thought I'd show you that that's very very important okay and now um, what I'm gonna do is show you the next thing that you need to do the next thing that I needed to do is um, go to the command line here and su dash l to get root login as root here um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire up Nautilus as a browser and show you what you gotta do to get this to work now now right now if I type if I open up Firefox and I type in test1.local I should get my test1 folder to come up but it doesn't if I type in test2.local in browser window it should work but it doesn't okay and I'll talk about that why okay as you remember I'm gonna browse around here and that is in the var folder went to root folder and www okay and HTML I've got a test1 folder and a test2 folder inside each folder is an index.html file that names that this is test1 and this is test2 etc okay so I've got that going for me right so um, I should be able to open up the browser Firefox browser and type in test1.local and have it take me right to here right and then open up that but it doesn't work because when I open up Firefox and I type in test1.local it's going to go out to the internet looking for that domain name so what you can do so that you can test this in your environment and make it work is you can set your host file so that it tests your um, it tests your address 127.0.0.1 so what you want to do is go to your root folder and go to your Etsy folder and what I did was is I basically edited my host file so that when you type in that name into the browser window it points at this machine just like if you own the name at home so let's see here I'll show you how this is gonna work you gotta look for your host file where is it where is it where is it okay there it is and I'll show you what I did was open with text editor right click open with text editor on your host file that's host and we're gonna open the sucker up okay let's see here alright 
Okay. Open with text editor. Trying to get this to work. And it's not working yet. But um, when I do get it open, basically all I did was, all I had to do was type in, um, let's see if we could just double click on it and open this sucker. Do I have it open somewhere that I don't know about here? Well, now it's being a button doesn't want to open. Okay. Um, when you go in there, basically what you want to do is add a line, and I really need to get this open so you can see it. Open with text editor. Looks like it's failing us. Okay, when you get it open, basically what you're going to do is you're going to type in 127.0.0.1. You're going to put in a couple of tabs, a couple of spaces essentially, and then type test1.local as the domain name that you want to map to. And I just put that on the last line of the configuration file. This is your host file. And then on the next line, I put 127.0.0.1 and tabbed over and put in uh, test2.local. And I just typed it in there and hit save and I'm not quite sure why it's not opening up. That's kind of a bummer. Let's see here. Uh, I'm in root here. I'm not quite sure why it's giving me a hard time. But now, once you do that, you're going to have to, um, if you change, of course, your um, your uh, Apache configuration, you need to restart it. Here's service, HTTPD, restart and you can restart it there and once you do you'll be able to go here and put in test1.local it'll bring up your test1 and um, you could put in test2.local and hit enter and as you can see it brings up my test2 window and what is the line that you want to add to your host file here it is essentially you add this your IP address that you want to go to, and then the um, <coughs> the name. So I put in here 127.0.0.1 and then test1.local and added that right to my host file. And, um, and it was all good to go. So I wish I could show you that, but it's being a butt. So anyway, that's it, and uh, I'll try one more time to fire that open. Open up Nautilus. and go to Etsy scroll down to my host file I'm going to right click on it open with text editor and there it is it opens with gedit and you can see here that exactly what I put 127.0.0.1 I tabbed over to test1.local 127.0.0.1 tabbed over test2.local and now once you have that then you can actually if you type in test2.local into your browser test1.local it will target your system and it will enable you to test locally to see whether your named virtual host works or not and that should help you out and I'll just show you one more time that that works by opening up a browser window and typing in test two dot local and you'll see it says this is my test two and if I change this to test one and hit enter it goes to test one open with text editor right click open with text editor on